Hello everyone and welcome to a tutorial on how to properly request access to apps from your company's Zoho One account. In this case, my company that I work for is Bickert Management Incorporated. And as a user on that account, I didn't have access automatically to all of Zoho One's apps for good reason, because there are so many. This is a very simple process and you might be wondering, why is there a tutorial video for such a simple process? Great question. Though the process is quick and simple, if done improperly, it can lead to a lot of hoops to jump through and wait time. For example, if you try to access an app through your company's Zoho One account that you have not been granted access to, Zoho doesn't want to stop you from accessing that app, so what it will do is it will create a trial account under your username. That trial account is not connected to your company's Zoho One account. In this case, it would not be connected to Bickert Management Incorporated. So that makes that app inherently useless until it can be remedied. And I'll go through how to remedy that situation in a minute. But first, I wanted to walk you through two different methods for requesting app access. Two, because there is a method for the Zoho One old user interface and one for the Zoho One new user interface. So on this screen in the new user interface, or the old user interface rather, you can see the My Apps tab on the left with a list of the apps here. If there's not an app here that you need access to, you go to the top right, request app access, brings up a window of apps you do not have yet access to from your portal owner or super admin. Click the check boxes of the apps that you would like and down here to the request button and that's it very simple process that request goes right to the portal owner or super admin of the account and they will grant access to you as they see fit so right now I'm going to transition to how to do this on the new Zoho One user interface and here I am on Zoho One's new user interface here and we've got the apps listed on the left hand side here. You can see quite a few pinned, but I wanna go over to more apps. And what it should do is open up a window on the side here. And if I know the name of the app, I can search it under search applications here. You can see social, and I'm going to just hit request. Alternatively, if I wanted to see a list of the apps that I don't have access to, instead of under my apps, I would go to unassigned apps, and there they are. And I can request them one by one, and again those requests go to the portal owner or super admin of the account. Very simple process for both. Now if you find yourself in the situation that I did, where it was done improperly and you have your own Zoho trial account opened, what you need to do is contact support. and they're, they're really great. They will get to you as soon as they can, but it's not going to give you access to the app right away. So if you needed it right away, it's just not going to happen until support remedies that situation for you. The proper channel for that would be depending on the app. For example, for social, it would be support at zohosocial.com would be the email address or support at zohosurvey.com or Zo support at zohoapp.com would be the proper channel. They might go back and forth with you to remedy the situation, to get an idea. Essentially, they'll get it done for you, but it will take time, and you won't have access to the app through your company's portal right away. So hopefully, this tutorial saves you that time and really is a case where an ounce of prevention is so much better than a pound of cure. Hopefully that was helpful, and see you guys next time.